episode 73. So you want to start a podcast. Welcome to the PR Playbook Podcast, the only podcast giving you actionable skills and advice you need to execute a strategic PR program. Warning, what you hear next may lead to brand awareness and increased sales and customer exposure. Now here's your host, Rinjini Joshua. Hello and welcome to episode 73. So we've been talking to many of our clients about thought leadership and starting a podcast is a way of increasing credibility in the industry, building awareness around your brand, getting more comfortable in front of a mic. (laughs) So I wanted to go through the few basics of getting started in a podcast. Now, this is going to be the first in a series of three podcasts about podcasts. So don't let starting a podcast daunt you. I'm going to walk you through it. It's really not that hard. Anyone can do it. It's just a commitment to getting started. I started this podcast from the office in my home with a simple USB mic that I purchased through Amazon. And you can upgrade to new and better things as you go. You're going to learn a lot. There's no substitute for time and experience. So no matter what I tell you, you're still going to you know, learn things as you go and change your methodology. So the first thing first. When you're creating a podcast, come up with a theme. This will give you direction in any content or interviews that you want to create. It's kind of like the podcast podcast mission statement. And you're going to need it when you create your podcast and upload it to different players and create a page for it. And we'll talk about all these different tactics and things that you need. But um, you really need to have a mission and a theme for your podcast. What are you trying to say? And what do you want the listener to come out with? Second thing, outline about 25 topics that you'd like to talk about. Does it sound a little early? Maybe, but not really. You want to stack your episodes as much as possible to give you wiggle room so that you don't feel stressed. You're not up against time when you're releasing podcasts. You have a nice flow of content and you can start with about four or five podcasts because you will see that when people start listening to your podcast, they want to listen to probably multiple episodes, depending on how long it is. So you don't have to record the 25 at the very beginning, but just have the ideas ready to go. You don't want to come up with the writer's block and have like an ongoing list in your notes or something like that. And just continue to add as you come up with ideas and make sure you keep that list moving. Keep it, keep it flowing. Third thing, get a mic, get a mic, play with the mic, have fun with the mic. You can find great podcasting microphones on Amazon with really easy setups. You don't have to have a professional studio. You don't have to have professional equipment that costs hundreds of dollars. I started with like a $60 mic and just make sure you have a pop filter and we'll actually put a few mic options of different, you know, different values in the show notes. So you can have a good mic to start off with, but there are some pretty bad microphones. I did get a bad microphone. I had to return it, but you'll see pretty quickly if the quality of the sound is good. Now I record through zoom, but there's lots of there's Zencaster, there's SoundCloud. You can record it in an audio program. So there's a lot of different ways and places to record the audio. And we'll actually make another podcast about that particular thing and um, the details of recording, but you could really do it anywhere. And I, I do it through Zoom. So I'm keeping it easy. Next thing, secure your podcast platform. So now we use Buzzsprout, but you can use Simplecast, Libsyn, and, very, and various others. These platforms are great because you're going to upload your podcast there and it'll deliver it to all the different players for you. It'll easily disseminate your podcast across all platforms like Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, Pandora, Amazon. We're on Podchaser. We're on Deezer. We're on Player FM. Um, So uh, I just have to upload it in one spot and it gets, you know, spread out to all those different places. Now you are going to have to connect to all those different places and create accounts and that's okay. It's fairly easy to do, but um, you want to create, secure your podcast platform. Um, The ones I see used the most are probably Simplecast, Libsyn, and Buzzsprout. 
create your own cover art is the next thing. So, or not create your own, but create a podcast cover art. But you can find the resources and directions on how to do it and best practices. But I think the best way to really determine and what kind of we did with a few of our podcasts, what your art will be is by looking at other podcast covers in your category. So like, don't compare yourself with an entertainment podcast if you're a business podcast. Don't compare yourself with a life lessons podcast if you're just making, if you're a comedy podcast. So put it in perspective of your category and what works for one podcast may not work for another one. Like you really have to understand that theme, that mission statement of what you want people to get out of it and what you think people will grab people. It's a tiny square. Think about that. Um, so just, you know, kind of think about your experience, how you'd want people to see it. If you want your face on it, if you don't want your face on it, you know, where do you want the podcast to be focused? Is it really about building you as a brand or as a thought leader? Then you probably do want your face on it. If it's about the topic, maybe you want to focus on the topic and an image around the topics, or if it's around a style. So um, really think about that. And it doesn't sound like a big deal, but I think podcast cover art really does draw the attention of the listener. And if you can make it different, then that's great. I think I made a dark cover because... I saw so many business podcasts were all white. So that was like one of the reasons I wanted it to be attractive from the way we kind of designed it, like a playbook, you know, like, like, like you're learning something. So we have this kind of like chalky background. And so there's different reasons. And then we, of course, we pulled in our branding into it. So the colors, the fonts all fall in line with our business branding. So there's a few different reasons of why you choose the cover art that you choose. And there's several resources on, you know, best practices. So we'll also put those links in the show notes. You'll also need a description of your podcast. So you could probably create this when you create your theme and your mission statement, but what is it? What, what are you there to do for people? And what are people going to take away? Keep it simple. Don't make it complicated. You need to have a solid description that goes I would say stick with the rule of like 140 characters, the, the way Twitter makes that made, used to make everyone do, because then you could just copy paste that 140 characters, keep it succinct, and then that'll go on all the different players. But you really want to focus on the direction of your podcast, what you're going to put into it, and what people are going to take out of it each time. And obviously, this is a DIY podcast. So what I want you guys to take away from it is ways to DIY your own content, your public relations, your marketing, your social media. And so that's really the focus of how we work. Okay. So last thing, but not least, start recording already. Don't be shy. Most people hate the sound of their own voice and that's okay. Most people do. And I'm sure you'll hear this, but there's a whole different dimension to recording in a podcast episode that it's just different. You have to pretend that you're a different person and not be worried about how you sound so much, unless there's something weird going on in the background. So don't be afraid, get in front of the mic, start recording. You don't have to use that segment. You can re-record, but really just kind of start getting comfortable with your mic when you get it. On the next podcast, I'm going to outline recording an episode and what that entails. So like, as you move forward, let's start with this one. These are like kind of the basic dimensions that you need to know about a podcast. And then the next podcast will be talking more specifically about the recording process, what you should be recording, how you should go through that process. So stay tuned on the structure of your podcast and what you'll want to include. The last episode in this series will be about marketing your podcast. So we'll talk about that and the best ways to do that. So see you next time.